Okay, well I came down here to make a video about the different adhesion types for the snap maker, um, all four of them, and which one I think is the best, which one I use and everything like that. However, I get down here and uh, I do a homing sequence and we've got some troubles. Okay, so I go through and I home the machine and it all goes well. It goes uh, left, right, up, down, and then it gets to the bed and it, for some reason, is having a lot of troubles. It's going like this. And if I spam it, it should also, oh, and it also gets stuck here. So it gets stuck, it can't go anymore. And when it was doing the homing sequence, it made this really like loud noise, not like a grinding noise, just like a And it felt like nothing was really moving. Um, so we need to go through and see what's going on. I think it's with this guy probably, but I think I'm gonna go through, unscrew all of these things, Check our cables back there, make sure that everything is good back there, and uh, see what happens. Okay, well I'm not exactly sure what is wrong with it yet. Um, I'm worried that dust has gone into the module and then I have to go through and take it apart and like clean it and everything. That's kind of one of my fears because I don't really want to go ahead and mess anything up um, but we might have to go in there and remove some of the dust because we have done some CNCing and there has been quite a quite a bit of dust and everything um, so I am worried we're going to have to do that but as you saw uh, it made a really loud noise and then on like the 10 millimeter and then on the 1 millimeter it kind of like jobbles back and forth and everything so we'll have to go through and do some tests and everything and uh, see what happens but I'm gonna go have some breakfast and uh, get my mind cleared up and everything and we'll see what, what, what we'll figure out what we want to do and everything I'll uh, talk to my dad and everything as well and yeah we'll get back to you whenever we have a, a game plan okay so it's been a little bit of time since the last update however we have done some tests we did figure out what was wrong with the snap maker it turns out one of the linear modules on the y-axis actually uh, we believe has gone bad uh, it doesn't move whenever we use the homing and everything the left one will slide perfectly and the right one has a lot of friction and stuff like that I have uh, throw up some videos and everything like that for you guys so the head works fine and then Yep, just this one moves. Which means that it's not these two ports. And it has something to do with just the module. But, so yeah, we have it all taken apart currently. You have the heated bed off, and we also have the carriage taken off. So we're currently in email support contact, email contact with Snapmaker support. And hopefully they can send us a replacement because it should still be un it is still under warranty because we received it less than a year ago barely but it is less than a year ago so yeah we are in contact with the support team and uh, yeah hopefully everything goes well we have to go do a couple more documentation things for them tonight and then send off the email and then see what uh see what they do and see what they say but basically for now we have figured out that we believe it is a bad linear module because again it doesn't move and everything based on the tests that you guys saw and yeah so next time i have an update i'll be sure to let you guys know other than that i will uh be back soon okay well we have the motor taken apart now so we can take a picture of it for the snap maker team for the support team so there's that all right so today is monday october 4th and on thursday september 30th we emailed snap maker support and they actually responded that night and they said everything is all good we're going to get a replacement linear module so we're going to be able to actually do some printing stuff of course it was still under warranty so you know they were able to give it to us for free and everything because you know the machine broke and everything um so yeah hopefully in a relatively short amount of time it'll get here i'm gonna guess it's gonna be like a month to a month and a half so hopefully the next time that you see me i'll actually have the linear module and we'll be able to go through and put it back on the machine and actually finish this whole project but until then i have to do the waiting game and sadly i can't use the snapmaker at all so hopefully the next time you see me i'll have it and we'll be all set and all good and i'll see you then 
Okay, I actually don't have the linear module. I know, I told you the next time you saw me I have it. But I got an email last night saying that the linear module has actually shipped, which is actually pretty awesome. And then I was looking this evening, by the way today is October 5th, it's a Tuesday. Um, I was looking this, this evening at the uh, tracking details and it says it's actually gonna come here on Ashman delivery is Monday, October 11th. I was expecting it to come all the way over from Snapmaker and stuff like that, like across, the, oh, you know, overseas and everything. So I was like ready to say, have to say like, oh, it's gonna be here in like a month. But it actually might be here next week. That's pretty good. I like that. So hopefully next week I'll have it, and then next time you see me, I'll have the linear module, and we'll be all good, and we'll set it up and all that good stuff. So I will see you then, hopefully, with the linear module. Okay, it has finally come. It came in the mail. Lily watched the UPS guy come up to the door, drop it off, and then he walked away and everything like that. So yes, we have our linear module. Now we need to go through and install it on the Snapmaker, and we'll see how well it works. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully everything connects and has no problems and stuff like that, but we'll see. So I think we'll do that tonight and uh, all that good stuff. Today's Monday, October 11th. All right. Here is the new linear module right here. He is all attached, he is wired up, and we're gonna go through and do a homing sequence. Hey! Beautiful. So now when we do this, They actually move. Alright, now we gotta go ahead and put on the uh, carriage in the heated bed and move that, move, move that around. Alright, our carriage is on. We went through and moved the cable back to underneath there. So, let's tip her down. Alright, the heated bed is on now. We're gonna go ahead, boot this guy up, and... Gotta grab the controller, hold on. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and boot this guy up and uh, make sure that everything moves correctly with the heated bed and the carriage on and all that stuff. Control, and it's going to home. Woo! So if you notice now, whenever I move it like that, it kind of combines all of the moves into one. Whereas before, it was moving them independently. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and generate some G-code for this. I believe we're gonna do a double A to a C battery converter. Just go ahead and make sure that everything prints well, and then I will uh, let you guys know upstairs in Studio B how everything went, and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll see you soon. All right, what is up everybody? So here is our little double A to C battery tester that we, uh, or converter that we printed last night as our first test with our new linear module. Um, it did great, there's no layer shifting or anything. It looks very smooth, everything booted up correctly. We did all of our homing tests and everything moved amazingly and did our Z offset and everything like that and it was really good. So yeah, the carriage is back on, the actual heated bed plate, the heated bed like thing that you like take off and everything. I guess it's called the print sheet actually. But yeah, everything is back together and everything is working totally great as of last night. So thoughts about the whole process of going through and having to go through customer support and everything. Actually, it was better than I thought. Uh, I've heard a couple of stories from a couple months ago or even like a year ago people where people were saying, 
hey, it takes a long time to even get to customer support and everything, you know, and even when you are talking to them, they're a little bit slow, they got a lot of things, they got a lot of things they can work on. As of October 2021, honestly, things seemed pretty good. Uh, every night, they'd get back to us, we'd send the email over, and then later that night, because, you know, they're on the, on the other side of the world from us, they'd respond, and then we'd see it in the morning and stuff like that. So everything went really smooth. Um, zero from Snapmaker support. Thank you very much for being awesome and, you know, taking care of our requests. He went through, and he's like, hey, I just need to see these pictures, document what's wrong with it, da ba da ba da da it's under warranty, so let's get you a new one and stuff like that. And it was super nice, super easy. So zero, thank you very much for your support. And then in terms of like actually receiving the module, I was thinking I was gonna come all the way overseas and get stuck in that whole like California like shipping debacle that they're having on over there. But it actually came via the ground from Ontario, Canada. So I got here within like a week and it was super awesome. And yeah, everything booted up correctly. I think that's about it. Everything went really smooth, um, actually way better than I expected it to, so I'm very happy about that. If you guys have any questions about the whole customer support thing that I had to go through, any questions from my experience, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, maybe even like the video, you can do that. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I've got a video I'm working on about all the different adhesion types and which one I think is the best, which one do I use, and all that good stuff, especially if you're a new 3D printer. Um, yeah. It's going to be pretty interesting. And that's about it for me today. So until next time, take care.